is up everybody? So today I'm going to be teaching you how to turn this into this. Actually minus the uh, muzzle flash, that's just because I was bored and I, the video has to have a cool thumbnail for you to click on it anyway. So, <laughs> um, Okay, so basically we are going to be making a sort of an apocalyptic type look, um, kind of like something from, I got it somewhere down here, uh, like the book of Eli here. Um, here, look, look at this. Uh, just sort of give it a little bit of an uh, apocalyptic type, sort of, you know, creepy look. Something sort of like that. Um, so yeah, that's what we are going to be learning how to do today. Um, so, uh, you can click the download link in the description if you want to download this fi uh, footage, which is actually from a video of mine on my main channel, uh, Video Games in Real Life, if you want to check it out, um, although it actually looks slightly different. But anyway, yeah, link in the description if you want to check that out. Uh, it was just a fun little action short I made. Um, okay, so we're going to start a new product, as you can see. So we're going to drag in the footage, which you have downloaded, because of the link in the description. Um, okay, so uh, it's pretty simple to do this. It's just, just you know, just color correction. It's not that hard. So, um, you know, click click down here uh, and hit Control alt y to make an adjustment layer. Um, and now we're going to go to Effects and Presets. Uh, if you don't have Effects and Presets open, you can hit Control 5 I believe it is. Yes, Control 5 to open Effects and Presets, um, which is just a faster way of getting to these effects. So you could do Effect, blah, 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 but that's just going to take longer. So we're going to go to Effects and Presets, and we are going to type in, let's go with Exposure. We're going to drag in that. Okay, and now we're also going to put on Curves. And, uh, let me see. We're going to, you, you see how this is horribly recorded footage. This is back before I knew how to use my camera very well. Um, so you see it's extremely bright here, it's kind of blowing out, so what we want to do is we want to click the exposure and we're just going to take it down a little bit. Because um, you see if it's up here it's sort of pure white. We don't want pure white, we want to get it so that it's almost pure white but not quite. So something like that looks good. Just sort of the point right between blowing out and you know having uh, texture. I, I didn't say that well, but I think you, you get what I'm saying. We want it not completely white. We want just enough to be able to see sort of the surface of the skin well without it just blowing out and being completely white because that's boring. <laughs> um, okay, so now we're going to take the gamma down slightly. If it if it um, if you want to take it down slow more slowly than just pulling it with your cursor, you can hold down the control key and it will make it move more slowly. Um, so just get somewhere nice, something like that. And offset, you can just use this to make the darks darker and the brights brighter, basically. So drag that down just a little bit, or whatever. Something like that looks good. Um, this is very much just a matter of opinion, so whatever you think looks good, you can go with it. Um, okay, now, uh, let's see, RGB. We're going to want a bit more contrast. So we're going to drag up the brights here. And then we're going to drag down the darks. That's probably too much. Something like that. We can tweak these later. Um, and now we are going to click down here on the adjustment layer. You can name it if you want. Hit enter. Type in, um, I don't know. This is, there's going to be a lot of layers. So I normally I would call it CC for color correction, but there are going to be a lot of layers. So let's just call this CC1, whatever. doesn't matter. Um, okay, so now we're going to hit Control alt y again. And this is our uh, next adjustment layer. We're going to go to Effects and Presets and type in Tint. Drag that on. And boom, now it's black and white. Well, great. Um, <laughs> uh, we don't want it completely black and white, but we do want it a lot um, uh, less colorful. Uh, and another way to do this would be use the hue and saturation effect, but tint is just faster for this right now. Um, so I'm going to hit T on the adjustment layer. And instead of changing the amount to tint, which we could do, that's a perfectly fine way to do it. I think it's a little bit simpler just to do the opacity of the layer. So I'm going to set this somewhere that I like, something like that, just to sort of take out some color. Um, and now, oops, source name, there we go. Okay, and so now we are going to make another adjustment layer, Control-Alt-Y, um, and we can name this old one if we want, uh, just call it Tint. 
um, black and white, whatever, I don't care what you call it. Um, and now let's see what can we do with this one. Um, well, I guess I guess what we're going to do is just gonna drop on a curves effect. Curves. And we're going to drag this down a bit, make the whole thing darker. Does not look beautiful? Okay, that's it. We're, no, I'm kidding. Uh, now we're going to go to the ellipse tool. If you don't have the ellipse tool up, if, if you just opened After Effects, you don't know what you're doing. Probably looks like this rectangle tool. You just click, drag to the ellipse tool, or you can hit Q to cycle through. Um, so double click the ellipse tool. Uh, wait. There we go. Double click the ellipse tool, and you get a nice ellipse over your whole picture. Um, and we're going to come down here to mask. You see where it says add? We're going to click that and click subtract. Now we're going to click the layer and hit MM, M, three times, <laughs> uh, and drag up the feather to something like that, because that looks beautiful. Now we're going to hit T, drag the opacity down slightly, something like that, just to sort of give us a nice little vignette. Name it Vignette. Vignette. I always spell it like that. I don't know if it's right. I don't care. I just heard some random dude in a tutorial. He was like, this is a vignette. So I'm like, okay, cool. Vignette. That's that's how I'm going to spell it. And if you don't like it, you can just deal with it. Um, so we're going to click CC1, uh, first layer we made. And I'm going to type hue and saturation. We're going to drag that on here. Now, if you look, they're sort of, the main skin colors are sort of, uh, Mostly red, and you know, you like a you know pinkish red colors in the skin, and then sort of a yellowy tones up here where it's brighter. So um, I'm going to go to the you know yellows, and I'm just going to leave them pretty much where they are. Take the saturation down a little bit, um, just because we don't need such bright colors. Um, and then again with the reds, I will take it down a little bit, saturation down. Not so much as black and white, but just a little bit because we don't need all this extra color. Um, and now with everything else, uh, that might have been too much. Yeah, that was definitely too much. Um, maybe it was too much on the yellows, too. Okay, now I'm going to turn pretty much the color for everything else off, because we don't really need it for anything. Um, so we're going to take greens, saturation, nothing. Uh, cyans, however you say that. Blues... I know what the color means, I just don't know how you pronounce it. Magentas. Um, just take all the rest of these colors to zero. And you know, it might not work for your shot, but for my shot, that's what looks good. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, something like that. Okay. Um, on this vignette, uh, let me drag down the RGB a bit more because I want it sort of darker. Turn the opacity up a little bit. Something like that. Um, and also, I guess we can add maybe a tint effect here, and just sort of make the bottoms. I, actually, you know, I might not even need it. It's probably already it's, it's already pure black, black and white, so I probably don't even need it. Um, yeah, I think that was stupid. It makes absolutely no difference. Just ignore me. That was that was dumb. Um, okay, so looking okay, but we still sort of got the wrong colors. So we're gonna click CC one. Um, I'm going to go to the blue channel, I believe, and take out a little bit. Something like that, maybe. Uh, matter of opinion, play with it, do what you like, and uh, just go with that. And we're going to take out, uh, I'm not even sure, that's pretty much pretty much staying in the same place. Uh, and then the red, we're going to adjust slightly up. Okay, so this whole thing is looking too bright to me. I last time I made it too dark when I was practicing. So we just go back to RGB and drag this down slightly. Maybe, um, and then I could stay there. All right, um, and then we're gonna go to the tint layer, the whatever's just under the vignette, and click Control Alt Y for another adjustment layer, and stick that under the vignette. And we're going to put on exposure. Drag that on. And here, let's see. The these are I don't know, I'm gonna have to see. Turn the exposure down slightly maybe. No, not quite. Yeah, leaving exposure where it is is fine. Uh let's see what the gamma does. Let me take out a little bit of gamma. We can Something like that. And um, there, that is a very 
fast version. Let me turn the vignette up slightly. Um, you know, it's, it's I think there's too much color in here. It's not uh not quite. We turn the tint on a bit more. It's looking too bright. It's da -da -da, control go a little bit slower. There we go. Something like that's looking okay. Um, and then, yeah, uh, if you randomly want to put a uh, muzzle flash on, like I did, you can just drag it on to the footage. I, I just have uh, um, Action Essentials 2, so you can just drag it on and find your flare. Boom. and just stick that there because it makes the thumbnail look cool for YouTube and make people click on it because the thumbnail is only going to be that big and nobody's going to know that that's not actually like we didn't actually do a good job on it <laughs> uh, so yeah that's what that's what I did because I was bored um, but yeah that's pretty much pretty much what you do uh, if you play with it more and try to do an actually like a good job it will end up looking much nicer than this because this was fast well not really 11 minutes is not that fast but you, you know um, relatively and yeah, you just basically keep making adjustment layers, making changes, tweaking your original things till you get something you like. Um, this one did not look does not look as good as the first one did, but the other one I spent like half an hour on just because I was you know trying to make sure I actually knew how to make it look this good because it sucked to make a tutorial uh, that I don't know how to do. So I've been talking for way too long, so I'm going to stop now. Um, if you want to subscribe to me, that'd be cool. If you don't want to, don't. That's fine. Um, I post a bunch of free pre-keyed video effects, uh, as well as, you know, tutorials like this. Um, I'm going to be doing probably a couple more color correction tutorials, uh, unless I get some uh, requests for other types of tutorials. If you, like, seriously, if you, leave, if you leave a tutorial request in the comments, I said description before once, <laughs> that was awkward. Um, if you leave a tutorial request in the comments, like, for example, if you want to know how to make... I don't know, a flamethrower. If you want to you know how to make it look like, you know, something or other, some dude's holding a flamethrower, and you don't know how to do the fire effects for flamethrower, then just say, I need help making a flamethrower effect, and then I'll try to make a tutorial explaining how to make a flamethrower effect, or, you know, whatever type of effect you're having trouble with. Just let me know, and it'll take me only a few days, probably, to make a tutorial for you and get it up. I just, I need people to send me requests, and nobody sends me requests. So, yeah, that'd be helpful. Uh, so, requests in the comments. Um, sorry, I'm rambling. Post pre free pre-keyed video effects if you want them, just like this muzzle flash that I was showing you a second ago, where you can just drag it onto the footage, and bang, you've already got the background keyed out. You don't have to, you know, take out any green screen or anything like that. And there are download links for all of those in the descriptions of those videos. Uh, anyway, I hope it helped you out, and I will see you next time. Bye.